Sexy little B, sexy little H, let a nigga play in your throat. Throat, baby. I'm trying to bust all on you. Throat, baby. Shut your goddamn mouth. If you like the video, don't forget to like the video. Comment, subscribe. It really helps the channel. It really helps me get into the algorithm. Comment anything you want me to react to next. Follow me on my Instagrams at JavonTheMeme2 and StreamSniper003. And follow me at Javon Odom on Twitter and it's a Vaughn on Snapchat. And with that, let's get into the video. In this video, I'll be naming the top 10 greatest players that are better than Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant did a lot during his career. He was 18-time All-Star, 5-time champ, 2-time Finals MVP, Hall of Famer. These are great career stats. But Kobe Bryant also infamously airballed four times against the Utah Jazz in Game 5 of the second round in the 1997 playoffs. Now, is that your GOAT? Is, is he your king? I disagree with him being top 10. What do you mean by Do you see me fucking laugh? Now, you can disagree too in the comment section. You can get mad. But this is not your video. Every real nigga know the difference. Coming in at number 10, we have the Dream Hakeem Olajuwon. Now, not more to be said about Hakeem Olajuwon. You, you know the story. Hall of Fame, 12-time All-Star, 9-time All-Defensive Team. Two-time champ, two-time finals MVP, defensive player of the year. One of the only two players on this list to do that. Hakeem Olajuwon won two of the greatest championships in league history. But at the same time, he had to wait until Michael Jordan left the Bulls to dominate. Now, do I think he's better than LeBron? Me personally? No. The first segregation player on this list. Oh! Coming in at number nine, we have Wilt Chamberlain. Wilt Chamberlain is in the Hall of Fame. He's a 13-time All-Star, two-time NBA champ, four-time MVP. But at his prime, he was a loser. Wilt Chamberlain also being known as being one of the most infamous stat patterns, if not the most infamous stat pattern, at least in my eyes, in NBA history. Um, there was, you know, nothing that was want to be sexual involved because I'm not like that you know well Will Chamberlain is also famous for being the only person in NBA history to score 100 points having the record for most points in a game now this has been debunked as the NBA actually just said he scored 100 to market the game to more people I'm here to tell you right now we don't care let me tell, right, let me tell you <laughs> we don't care Jerry one of his nicknames is also Big Musty. I beg your p So, yeah, he's at number nine. Just saying, if LeBron played back then, he would be averaging 50 points a season as well. That's all I'm saying. Coming in at number eight, Bill Russell. He's in the Hall of Fame, 12-time All-Star, 11-time NBA champ, and 5-time MVP, the most infamous championship stat pattern in NBA history. Most of his rings, if not all of them, came during the Jim Crow era. <laughs> so, by default, they're counterfeit. Shut the fuck up. Rest in peace, Bill Russell. All I'm saying is, if LeBron played in his era, we wouldn't be questioning who the GOAT was. Check him out, y'all. He dick riding. Look, he got the dick all in his mouth. Look. At number seven, we're coming in hot. Speaking of coming, I want to talk about. Whoa! 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 <laughs> call it myself. With Shaquille O'Neal, Hall of Famer, 15 time All Star, two time scoring champ, 14 time All NBA, three time Finals MVP, four time NBA champ. Shaquille O'Neal, arguably the shortest prime on this list, which is why I had to put him at number seven. Even though he got carried on his fourth ring by Dwayne Wade. Now all I'm saying is, if D Wade could have got to the 06 finals with sh with Trash Shaq, imagine what LeBron could have did. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. They might have won back to back with LeBron. <laughs> you serious? Coming in at number six on our list is Steph Curry. Now, you might be wondering why have I put him above players like Shaq, Bill Russell, Will Chamberlain. Well, Steph Curry didn't play during the segregation basketball era. Come on, Pops. Let's go. No! Now you listen here, nigga! 
and he's still dominating even into his 30s while some of the players left on this list by the time they hit their 30s they fell off a cliff now Steph Curry is a four-time champ one-time finals MVP <coughs> fraudulent we have been hoodwinked bamboozled let astray run amok and flat out deceived. He's an eight-time all-star eight-time all-nba two-time mvp four-time nba champ one-time finals mvp even though you could argue that some if not all of his rings are counterfeit and i'm not gonna argue with you niggas about this at all now let's look through them shall we 2015 Cavs was hurt lebron james should have got that finals mvp let's let's not cap let's not bullshit second and third round what happened well the warriors cheated and acquired kevin durant fourth ring arguably his only real ring that he has at the moment oh brother this guy stinks but as always fuck steph curry yeah, his daughter is ugly as fuck, and his son look like a mutt. I have Tim Duncan at number five. 15 time All Star, 15 time All NBA, 15 time All Defensive, Ooh. five time NBA champ, three time Finals MVP, and the most boring player on this list by a mile. No, God! No, God, please, no! No! Now. Tim Duncan being a part of one of the most boring franchises in sports history did amass him a great career and was actually one shot away from going 6-0 in the finals. How's that for you, Jordan fans? Dude, I was Fuck! To run. But I'm 100% sure that if LeBron James was drafted to the Spurs, he would have dominated the same, if not better, than Tim Duncan. And number four, I have Irving Magic Johnson. Five-time champ, three-time MVP, three-time finals MVP, 12-time All-Star, also a Hall of Famer. Even though Magic Johnson was drafted into the ideal situation for someone of his stature, him not really being the best player, and even though pure point guards don't really win championships like that, he won he was drafted into the ideal situation and won a lot. I understand. If LeBron was drafted to the Lakers in, in, in that era, he probably would have won more too. Hey yo, what the Magic Johnson also being known for having the greatest rookie season in sports history. Yes, you heard me. Sports history. Winning a finals MVP. At this point in the vid, we get into the nitty gritty. Now, this is where you start to question, is Kobe even a top five Laker all time? I mean, think about it. You got LeBron, obviously, number one. You got Magic, number two. Kareem, Shaq. And I would even say Elgin Baylor. I mean, but then, but then, hear me out, though. Hear me out, though. You also have Jerry West, Wilt Chamberlain. Hold on. I got some names here. I got some. These are some names. These are some names. These are some names. Or Nigga! At number three, I have Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Now, Kareem's stats are a little bit inflated. During his early days in the NBA, where he was his most dominant, the league wasn't as competitive. In fact, some of the best players in basketball were not in the NBA. They were in the ABA. Hands on it. This is still legal. Yeah. But you can't go through, through my arm. So then I could... Okay, that's what it was. That's, that's so good. Yeah. Who blocked that shot? Will got one or two when I was a rookie. And then he never got another. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep fucking laughing, you fucking faggot. He got several thrown down on him. <laughs> Still, he managed to become a 19-time All-Star, a six-time NBA champ, two-time Finals MVP, and is a Hall of Famer. At number two, I have Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Six rings, never lost in the finals, even though Mike did have to wait for the Eastern Conference to get weak so he could dominate. And a lot of people considered Michael Jeffrey Jordan to be number one of all time. Here's my rebuttal to that. Michael Jordan was on the greatest team of all time. LeBron James played the greatest team of all time. 
my life. <laughs> Number one, LeBron James. Uh, it's about damn time. It's about damn time. Now, LeBron James being the greatest player of all time at this point, no debate. He's a four-time champ. 18-time All-Star, soon to be 19, maybe even 20-time All-Star. He is also a part of the 75th anniversary and a soon-to-be Hall of Famer in the future. Now, in my opinion, LeBron's 3-1 comeback chip is more than any of the players on this list combined rings. LeBron James is also known for being the not only the best player on all his teams, unlike Kobe, who needed Shaq to boost him for most of his rings, LeBron is famously known for making his teammates better and not having help throughout his career, which led to his downfall in multiple parts of his career. LeBron did choke in 2011 against the Mavs, but he still outperformed Kobe's 04 finals appearance against the Pistons. The series where Kobe just chucked the ball at the rim like it was a woman in a Denver hotel room. <laughs> Either way, that is my top 10 greatest players that are greater than Kobe, Bean Bryant, rest in peace Mamba and Gigi. Honorable mentions, Tracy McGrady, Kevin Durant, and Dwayne Wade. And with that, I take my leave. I will catch y'all in the next one. This motherfucker don't miss. No, he's fucking good. That motherfucker don't miss, man. He's good. In the heat of battle, he don't miss. No. In the heat of controversy, he don't miss. No. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. <laughs> get to it. Fuck that nigga. Shay, Shay's underage too. I hope your parents get in a car wreck. My battery's low. That's Shay's worst nightmare. I'm banning anybody trying to give me advice. Well, let me, let me tell you, Shay. When when she says no three times, that means yes. Uh, ban anybody that knows what I said. Do you see me fucking laughing, my nigga? I ain't fucking laughing.